Shem from VSS Orca is here on a very, very busy stand. Let's find out more about what you do. Tell me about your role and about the business. Yeah, so uh, good morning, Tina. Uh, so I'm Shem Asayag. I'm the EVP for sales and marketing at VXS Orca. VXS Orca is a technology vendor. No surprise at TV Connect. We are active in two uh, specific areas. One which is security for content, you know, conditional access technologies, DRM technologies. And the second area is TV Everywhere platform. So we basically enable the development and deployment of TV Everywhere technologies for multi-screen, multi-device consumption by uh, consumers. Um, at the show, we have a number of uh, you know, things that we are displaying and demonstrating. Obviously, our traditional offerings around security, uh, investigation services, uh, what we call the connected secure player, which is about securing content on mobile devices. And we have two brand new areas, so to speak. One which is about our cloud platform, so bringing our TV Everywhere service and platform into the cloud, and uh, a new innovative area which is about virtual reality. So um, we are demonstrating you know, virtual reality for real. Uh, as an example, we uh, are showing what we have done with TF1, the French broadcaster, a few weeks ago, uh, which was about a live transmission broadcast of the French-Russia uh, football night. By the way, France win. Uh, and, and people can really try it and see how this brings a new dimension to immersive experiences. I, I can show you what it looks like, what kind of device you have to wear to, to, to get that. Let's do it, let's have a little look. It sounds very intriguing and good to hear that virtual reality is being tested with broadcasters as well, which is quite interesting. Um, you know, if this is a consumer device, you know, the, the, the maker is Samsung, which is a call, uh, the Samsung Gear device. So you have to wear that to really get immersed into the experience and see you know, the, the broadcast in a VR fashion. So in this case, what we are doing, we are integrating a full end-to-end -end ecosystem from production live, you know, uh, at, the, at the stadium, capturing the images, assembling the images, this is what we call stitching, real time, processing the images, which is technically quite complicated, and then rendering the images. And this is what VXS Orca is about, rendering the images, the UI, the experience, the player, the video player. And when you wear the helmet, you can really get immersed into the experience. So it's like you know being in the stadium. So you are sitting on your couch, but when you wear the helmet, you feel like being in the stadium, you know, if you watch, Above your head, you see the sky. If you watch on the right, you will see, you know, like the people who are in the stadium. If you watch on the left, you will see some others. So it's really, I think, the next stage of UI UX in terms of the viewing experience. So unfortunately, I can't show it to you because you will have to wear the helmet, and the camera can't wear the helmet. But this is exactly uh, what we are demonstrating, and we think we will see more and more experiments in this area. We do believe that there are two main game changers for virtual reality putting aside maybe adult content, which is games on one end and sports, because you know, the live dimension, the emotional dimension of sports really brings a lot of value to uh, this kind of immersive experience. That's it, and it's something where you'd want to feel very uh, immersed in the interactive experience of it. You really need to feel it, so it's difficult you know, without wearing the helmet and really trying it by yourself, but you know, I'm sure more and more people will understand what it means. The second thing that I was mentioning was our cloud platform. So actually we have a demonstration taking place. So what, what we are showing here is especially the management of the platform itself. So usually you know, managing um, TV everywhere platforms is a kind of techy thing, not very easy. So what we wanted to do is really allow non-technical people to manage the platform. What does it mean? Uh, you have seven live channels uh, provided to the consumers. You want to add one, you just click and drop and go. There you go, it's going to be available. You want to create a specific VOD package. You create your package, you define the pricing, the target. Maybe it's going to be available for three days only in the London area or to uh, you know, households with two kids because this is about you know, Disney or uh, I mean animation movies. So this is the TV console, which is very much you know, this management tool for non-technical people. Obviously, technical people can use it uh, to, to manage the platform and make it you know, as flexible and as interactive as possible. So maybe we can have some screenshots. Let me. Uh, yeah, let's have a, a closer look. And it sounds like the, the user experience is quite easy to pick up as well, which is good to hear. We can switch to uh, to the to the console. Just give me one second. All right, we're going to have a look for for someone who can talk us through this cloud-based technology, which you can see here on the stand at VSS Orca, so you can get a little bit more hands-on with it and get first-hand experience of it too. So we're just going to have a little look at how it works. And if perhaps I just swivel on round here, yeah, sure. and we can take a look at this together. 
So, so this is uh, this management tool that we call the TV console. So we have to log in. Uh, obviously, you have admin rights, which means that uh, you know uh, people who have the rights to use the platform can do that. You can set different rights. So maybe a marketing guy can deal into marketing issues, and the technical guy will deal with some of the technical issues. Uh, so. Uh, So this is a kind of user-friendly interface uh, that can be accessed remotely. So you have the different components of the service. Obviously, we are not going to get into the details because this is not the goal here. But uh, w what you can see, obviously, is that uh, you have the different assets, like movies. You know, you can see uh, uh, the information about the movie. Uh, when you deal with technical issues, what kind of format is available? Um, what kind of devices you can target with the format. Obviously, depending on the devices, the resolution uh, is going to be different. And maybe sometimes you can't target specific devices. What I'm going to show you, and, and you can see, by the way, also uh, live is supported, VOD is supported. Uh, I wanted to go into the settings uh, and uh, I'll show you, oh, where is that? Uh, there's, like, there's lots of options and, and variables, which yeah, is which yeah, is a very good thing. This is exactly what I wanted to show you. Hopefully, there will be no demo effect. Um, and obviously, what you want as a marketing guy or as a business guy is really show uh, see the activity on the platform. So typically, you will have these kind of dashboards as analytics tool. So you can see how many devices are active consuming your content. What kind of devices are being used? Are these you know, Android devices, iOS devices, smartphone, tablets, the different uh, type of activities you know, through time? So this is helping you basically define the best-in-class lineup in terms of you know, the content, the targeted devices, the households which are being targeted. So this is a very strong and powerful tool for the business and marketing people really to enhance the platform and make it you know, more uh, interesting for the viewers because at, at the end of the day it's about you know, conception and, and driving the revenues and help you. Fantastic. Well, it looks very easy to use and it looks like the data you can gather from it as well is very valuable. Um, finally, can you summarize for me why it's important to have a presence here at TV Connect 2016? I mean, it's very simple, you know, uh, we bump into people that we know, or into customers, prospects all the time, you know, just walking through the alley. So this is one of the key shows for us because we really meet the people that uh, are interested in the type of technologies and solutions that we have, uh, prospects, customers, partners, and, and this is a very convenient location also you know London is a very central spot uh, so it's uh, very efficient uh, the location is nice and as I said uh, most of the people that we want to meet are going to be there so uh, it really makes full sense for us to be at TV Connect. Fantastic thank you very much Chairman do remember we have a Twitter wall as well which is nice and interactive for you to get involved in and you can add to that with hashtag TV Connect. Chairman thanks very much. Thank you.